the European Defense Agency identified additive manufacturing as a key technology from which defense can benefit. From 2014 until now, different activities have been carried out to address the impact of AM from the setting of operational requirements to maintenance and equipment disposal. To explore its real potential, the AM F&D project was launched in 2016. The project was divided into three work strands, the first part of the project being a desktop study on the state-of-the-art and strategic implications of AM technologies in defense. Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, creates objects by adding material layer by layer. The study summarized seven additive manufacturing technologies that use different types of feedstock and binding mechanisms. The range of materials that can be used is broad. These technologies have the capability to transform product development and manufacturing in a wide range of sectors, including defense, allowing on-site and on-demand production of prototypes and functional components. from simple to extremely complex parts. Furthermore, the study analyzed the existing opportunities and challenges ahead in the sector, highlighting the main advantages of the technology and its current limitations. The second part of the project is the technology demonstration. A robust, self-contained, autonomous and connected additive manufacturing facility was developed. To be air transported anywhere the armed forces needed. It was successfully deployed at the Saragossa Air Base, demonstrating its operational applicability and potential for ready use one hour after landing, producing parts on demand providing the Defense Forces with the best technology capabilities for efficiency missions. The third part is the exhibition. A unique day to learn about additive manufacturing and networks, raising awareness among the defense community for a better understanding of AM advantages and applications. Final conclusions of the AM F&D project presented. AM technology could change the way operations, logistic support, and maintenance are performed. EDA's 3D printing lab and the parts produced were exhibited. The AM F&D project probed a bit of it. More to come. There is another project led by the European Defence Agency, one we can be proud of, to investigate the impact and feasibility of 3D printing in defence. It is a first for Europe and I believe can be an important step for the European Defence innovation.